Okay, couple of things before we start. I'm filming this clip right now after watching Kaigo's uh, music video. Um, and of course you will know my opinion, but the thing is <laughs> uh, I when I was watching this uh, music video, I was referring to Laura Harrier as Georgia Smith. I was uh, I completely messed it up. Uh, Laura Harrier is a, a actor from the Netflix show Hollywood. At least that's where I've seen her before. But for some reason, I referred to her as Georgia Smith because, for some reason, like like her and Georgia Smith are, are kind of similar. I guess there are some similarities. I believe both of these ladies are fantastic. But anyway, uh, that was a mistake. You're gonna see that, unfortunately. But and also the second mistake, the audio is sounding much better right now than it would be um, during the music video. The watch me watching music video. But it's not gonna be that bad. No worry. But um, it's just I forgot to turn on my actual uh, microphone I used here, and uh, it's just I recorded with computer microphone unfortunately. But um, hey, it just mistakes happen. But enjoy the video nonetheless because it is a good one. Trust me. Like uh, happy vibes, uh, fantastic um, music, atmosphere, everything you will be seeing here. Uh, so stay tuned for the show. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and it's been a while, it's been a while, but who knew that I will be back with the song by the master <laughs> himself, Kaigo. Kaigo who just dropped an album, uh, I already said that a million times before in my other Kaigo reactions, but he just fucking doesn't stop, huh? Like, I, it's it's a cliche at this point, because like every time I come here and I say like, Oh, damn, Kaigo dropped another song and another song. Oh, now it's now. Oh, it's a song now. Well, because if the thing is like, uh, back in 2018, I believe, when I was saying that uh, Okago like doesn't stop, like it's not, he's dropping and dropping. Either 2018 or 2019, but anyway, like there was a period of time where, like, every time we would just like every other month we would just get another Kaigo single or whatever, and then or and then EP Kids in Love stuff like that. So uh, he just uh, keep feeding his fans and. Uh, I honestly thought that after an album, Golden Hour, that was a pretty big, lengthy album, but enjoyable nonetheless, 10 out of 10, Hello, by Musical Pop, rating, uh, yeah, like 18 songs there was, now, like, apparently, uh, there it was not a stopping point, I thought it was, but it was not, apparently another song <laughs> dropped by Kaigo, and we have um, Tina Turner, this time, uh, Tina Turner, I honestly had to do a little bit of research because I didn't know who Tina Turner is. Uh, maybe it's a shame on me because apparently Tina Turner is uh, used to be a very famous uh, artist and um, she's like a, you know, like a old but gold type of deal, meaning like it's, uh, she's 80 years old right now, but uh, back in the day, she was actually a pretty famous, well-known musician. So now, uh, having said that, there's a song called What's Love Got To Do With It and Kaigo apparently decided to do a remix of that song and um, yeah, and this is not the first time when Kaigo does this, uh, he already um, took Whitney Houston last year, like uh, took Whitney Houston's song and uh, decided to manipulate it and make, make it better maybe or make it his own and he did it well um, let's do, let's see what's uh, gonna happen with what's love got to do with it by Tina Turner and Kaigo first reaction let's go is that George Smith <gasps> yes it is George Smith Transform since we last saw you here. It's the secret to your love. I've cut out boys from my home. Who gets to have this with me? Oh, okay, okay. Wait, does that mean Joyce Smith is going to be featuring on Kaigo's music video? Oh my god. You must understand the touch of your hand makes my bones react. Wait a second, wait a second. This is quite different it's a, quite of a departure from golden hour and yes of course because 
is a pretty old song and like it's somebody else wrote it not kaigo first right kaigo just making new touches and edits but i understand that but at the same time wow okay kaigo decided to go into a different direction um let's see it's so, so far it's fire though and georgia smith is on the music video licking ice cream right now and kissing What kind of man doesn't like Georgia Smith? Come on now. I wish I had more to give. The song is fire. The song is really good. Uh, this is pain. Painful to watch. I would do her 24-7, bro. What the fuck was that? <laughs> like, oh, like, don't sit on me. Like, what the fuck? Do it. <laughs> Make her happy. Anyway, I, know, I, I understand it's just a scenario, but I mean, it's just like, for the music video. I understand, but it's not, I understand it's not real, but God damn it. It's painful to watch anyway. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know how to celebrate a woman like you. Damn. Perfect <laughs> in <This is amazing. laughs> Yeah. Georgia became famous. Georgia became incredible. Uh, I mean, like, she was incredible, but, like, became famous and uh, well-known, established, and now, like, um, yeah, that man is just... Okay, he's... Uh, he... he she doesn't need him, especially when, um, like, he doesn't even, like, do anything for her, you know what I'm saying, like, he doesn't pay attention to her, or, I mean, give attention, uh, doesn't give love, doesn't provide love, and, uh, yeah, overall, was not really a good guy, um, well, it happens, it happens, unfortunately, in real life, Georgia Smith, though, I, what a, the surprise cameo, really, really well done video, really, really well done audio, <laughs> meaning the song, and I'm just so pleased and happy, like, what a pleasant surprise, I, I was so happy to see Georgia, um, the song, though, is a killer, is a killer, I, uh, my rating is 9 out of 10, uh, I actually even don't fucking mind to give 10 out of 10, to be honest, because, like, there's no bad spot in the song, like, the song is fire, uh, Kaigo, like, it's on the level of Golden Hour, um, it actually might be one of the bad, like, it, if it was on Golden Hour, it could have been one of the better tracks off of Golden Hour, to be honest with you, it's that good, it's really awesome song, there is nothing to not like, 
um, it's really Kygo style, but at the same time, it, it, it provides new variety actually on the mix. Um, it's quite dancey, quite, um, you know, you can actually have a great time with it as well. And, um, and also, it, it, with the lyrics though, like, you know, not the most happiest lyrics of all time, meaning that it also still has that Kaiko style where uh, the pleasant melodies are combined with um, sad or tragic lyrics. Um, this one uh, doesn't cut your heart, but it's more of a like, um, oh damn, like I'm having a bad time, you know, but like, what's love? And then you start screaming and then start having good time. Like you're like, you want to forget that pain. You, you want to like eliminate yourself from that and just have a good time for once, as, like right now, just, this is the moment, you know what I'm saying, so this is that that kind of song, um, yeah man, like I'm enjoying the fuck out of it, Kaigo, what's love got to do with it, 9 out of 10, thank you so much for watching, amazing, bravo, uh, if Kaigo, I mean, I don't know what his plans are, I don't know if this is a single for a new upcoming album or whatever, not sure, not sure, but um, seems like Kaigo doesn't want to stop making music. Um, and if he provides more, we're, we're gonna be here for it no matter what, for sure. Uh, what do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know what do you guys think about this song. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. Uh, how is your summer going, by the way? Let me know about that as well. It's like already half summer gone nothing really happened in our lives in my opinion <laughs> well something happened of course but like um we w hoped for like uh, masturbatory fantastic summer uh in the beginning of this year when we just discovered that there's gonna be um covid19 and like quarantining we thought that maybe by uh summer you know quarantine is gonna be over and we'll be able to like have an ama amazing summer um, everybody was ready to jump on that, um, uh, like, happy wagon of, like, yeah, like, we're gonna be closer than ever, supportive than ever to each other, and, like, have a blast and have a great summer, but instead, um, now there's gonna be a second wave, and now everything is getting shut down close again, um, even in summer, so it's uh, unfortunate. It's sad because, like, 2020... Like I remember when you know there was New Year's Eve, everybody was when everybody was celebrating. Like people were wishing each other a great 2020. Like this was, like for us, for some reason we felt like, damn, 2020 is gonna be the year. 2020, like everybody will be more united. Everybody will be like um, more supportive to each other. Like everybody wanted to have a great year. Like they were tired of like. Ify 2019, like, in the past couple of years, you know, of drama or whatever, like, they, they want to actually have a great time in 2020, but, um, but virus and nature, like, it's just, uh, they, they had different plans for us, unfortunately. Um, anyway, though, yeah, so that's upsetting, but music, at least, was good in 2020, and uh, Kaigo, uh, one of the... Um, frontman of actually of providing that music for us and I'm grateful for him uh, Kaigo if you're watching thank you so much and again um, yeah leave some comments some uh, good comments for Kaigo I mean if, just in case if, you, if he's watching I don't know if he never acknowledged that but um, yeah just uh, let's have a appreciation posts for, for Kaigo a little bit, all right? Uh, he's, he's making our, our summer at least going a little bit. <laughs> he, at least for me, like in my room, uh, I'm dancing to his music. All right, all right. Thank you so much again, and have a great day. Have a great summer, rest of your summer, hopefully. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.